Hi and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unbagging Peacock from OutdoorTide.com. So today I am having my first look at a diamond painting from a company called OutdoorTide.com. They contacted me recently and asked if I would be interested in doing a review of one of their diamond paintings. So, as always I said yes, I'm always interested in trying companies that I've never tried before. OutdoorTide.com, if I've counted correctly, is the 46th diamond painting company that I've done a review on. So they contacted me, I had a look at the website and I picked a diamond painting and it arrived yesterday. So I ordered it on August 8th and it arrived on August 15th. So it took exactly seven days um, to get to Denmark from China. So that's pretty fast. Um, as you can probably tell if you've watched a lot of uh, diamond painting unboxings and unbaggings, this is a budget diamond painting company. And you can tell that because the diamond painting comes in a bag. It does not come in a box. Um, I am assuming that the canvas will be sort of semi-rolled, semi-folded. It won't have a core that it's rolled around, I don't think. Um, it's just pretty much standard for the budget companies. And the reason that they do this is basically to save money. I'm pretty sure um, because they don't have boxes and it makes the package lighter so the shipping is cheaper the plus for us is it makes it cheaper for us as well so absolutely standard grey bag and I shouldn't have any problems opening this one so I'll just cut along the top making sure I don't cut anything inside the bag and we'll see what we get so that is the kit um, as I expected no box it doesn't have uh, anything inside it to hold the shape so it's sort of semi folded semi rolled no sharp creases so um, basically once you open it you have to put um, heavy books on top that I found that to be the best just cover it with heavy books leave it for a few days and the canvas will be nice and flat don't try and work on it while it's all wavy so all we've got here is uh, made in China a code doesn't mean anything to us at all but we can see um, a glimpse of the canvas because it's rolled with the picture on the outside a lot of the time they're on the inside so you can't really see anything but we can get an idea of the colours in this one um, I really do enjoy brightly coloured diamond paintings so that's why I chose this one and it is called Peacock and you'll understand why when I open it so Nothing special about the packaging. I mean, it is sealed, so no dust can get in, which is always good. And put my scissors down, forgot where to put them. So I'll just cut the bag. Open it up. So, as always, the first thing I'm going to do is check what is inside the canvas before we actually see the picture. Keep the best till last. Put the scissors out of the way. So, inside we should have the drills and the toolkit. So, we have the drills and the toolkit. So, again, um, absolutely standard totally what I expected we get the basic toolkit for diamond painting we get the standard pink diamond painting pen and single placer so you can place one drill at a time um, 
no multiplacer or anything for the back, no straightener or anything. So it's just absolutely standard pink pen. Then we get the absolutely standard green tray, which has no spout. So it makes it a bit more difficult to try and pour um, into containers if you have containers that you keep your drills in. Um, the other thing is the trays have angled sides. I talk about this all the time because again I'm thinking about people who are totally new to diamond painting. If you pour your drills in the tray and you're diamond painting and you accidentally touch the side, um, the tray will flip over very, very easily. And what happens is the drills end up on your glue and you have to pick them all back off again. So hopefully somebody who's new and thinking about diamond painting or maybe they've just got the first kit, if you get a tray like this or basically any tray, even if it has a nozzle, a lot of the trays have these angled sides. Just be aware that if you touch it, it's it's going to flip over. Um, so. The moral of the story is when you're diamond painting with a tray with angled sides, try not to touch the side um, when you're picking up drills. Um, after you've done it a few times, you will remember. So just a little word of warning. Um, a lot of companies supply trays with angled sides, so um, it's not just this company. A lot of companies do it. Um, so absolutely standard pen that's rolling away and standard um, tray also standard pink wax a uh, rectangle of pink wax sometimes you'll get a square this time we've got a rectangle so quite a lot of pink wax in this um, it will be plenty for this kit so the pink wax again for anybody who's new this is how you pick up your drills um, the wax has a clear cellophane coating on it, which you have to peel back. So what you do is you peel it back, put your finger behind it, get your pen, go for the corner, and press it into the wax, give it a little twist, take it out, and you'll see there's a hole. So that means the pink wax is now in the tip of the pen. And this is what you use to pick up these drills, these little pieces that build up the picture. Um, what you do is you pour the colour that you need in the tray, give it a little shake, and then the ones that sit up the right way up, um, you just touch them with the pink wax, move them over, put them down where they're meant to go in the picture, and just sit and do that. So it's what they call single placing. You're putting one drill down at a time. So. This is the basic kit, but it is all you need to diamond paint. Um, you don't need anything else. So that is it. Standard, standard kit. Nothing wrong with it. Just remember about the angled sides. That's the tip of the day. So now we'll have a look at the actual drills. So as usual, they come in a sealed uh, bag, which has a glue strip down the centre. Virtually all the diamond painting companies package their drills this way. So you just peel back this and it is the noisiest part of the video. Once you've done that, take them out and then we have the actual drills. So as I said, I do like colourful diamond paintings. So you just have a little skim through and see the colours in this one. So a nice bright uh, yellow and orange red. Some darker colours as well, but that does help with contrast. When you've got a diamond painting, if you've got some dark areas, it really makes the bright colours pop, um, which I really like. So we have uh, quite a lot. So skim through this one as well. Go to the back so the label isn't in the way. So some nice blue like that. Orange, brown, some bright green, some dark green, some darker green. So 
So that is the drills. Um, they come in sealed bags. They aren't uh, resealable bags, but they're a good size. So you could work from these bags if you don't have any kind of storage system. All you would do is, obviously the first thing you want to do is separate the bags into the different colours. But when you go to work them, cut across the top of the bag, just cut straight across. Pour out some drills that you need to use. Use what you need. Pour the rest back in the bag. Fold it over, a little piece of tape, and you can work from the bags. Um, I've done it a few times and it works absolutely fine. If you're totally new to diamond painting and you don't have any kind of storage system, you can definitely work from bags this size. Sometimes you'll get bags from companies that are very small. It makes it really difficult to try and fold them over and tape them, um, but you won't have any problems with bags this size. So the bags, you'll see there are uh, numbers and letters on them. Um, it says here Y852, doesn't mean anything to us, it's just a reference for the company. Um, the 15 though does mean something. So I'll try and find number one. So there it is. So we've got colour number one, two, two. So these two are the same colour. Then three, four, 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 four. Four, a lot of four. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. So that is that's ten. So that goes up to fourteen. Hopefully this one starts at fifteen, and it does. So we've got fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Twisted. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So according to the drills we have 30 colours. So these are round turn them over so you can see them better. <clears throat> Normally diamond painting drills are either round or square. These ones are round and I'm just having a quick look at them. Checking that they move freely in the bag. No static. I don't really see. No, no static. I saw a couple sitting there but when I tipped it up um, they fell. If you have static in the bags, the drills will stick, so when you tip the bag up, um, the drills will just be stuck to the plastic. Um, but these are absolutely fine, no static at all. The drills look good, some nice bright colours. So I'll just skim through the other ones. Just quick visual check, as you can see, nice and loose, moving very easily. So I don't see any problems with them at all. So the drills look good, definitely. So we'll put them to the side. I've already forgotten how many I said. The last bag says 30. So we're looking for 30 colours on the canvas. So we've got the canvas and I'll open it up. Let you see what the actual picture is. Um, at the top, item, diamond painting, number Y852, which was the number that was on the bags. Just a reference number for the company, doesn't mean anything to us. Size, 70 centimetres by 40 centimetres. I would call this 40 by 70. I always talk about the width and then the depth. So. For me, this is a 40 by 70. They've marked it as a 70 by 40. A few companies do that. It's a bit confusing because if you're looking at a space on your wall and you measure it and you think, okay, at 70, I can, I can fit something 70 in this space. And then you actually get the diamond painting, you realize it's actually only 40. So you might have had a space on your wall that's say 60 centimeters and you think, 
no, it won't fit because this is 70. Um, that's where it gets confusing. So the easiest way to, to think about it is when you look at the, the picture online, look, is it wider than, uh, than the depth? So 70 by 40, it, this can't be 70 because it's longer than that. So um, you can tell by looking at the picture where the short side is, but um, I would call this a 40 by 70. So we said 30 colors, we've got the key on the side and it does number one to 30. So we do have the right number of colors. So we'll open it up and have a look. So you can see it's called Peacock. Very bright colors, but you can see the dark background and that's what I like. I like the black backgrounds with the bright colors in front um, because that really makes these colors stand out. So it's basically not an actual peacock, but an artistic form of a peacock. Um, very, very bright. I'll just slide it down so you can get a better look to it. So you can see plenty of colour in this one. Really nice picture. So we have uh, the key on the left hand side. We also have the key on the right hand side. The canvas, as I said, is sort of semi-folded, semi-rolled. The thing about that is it causes creases. So if I tilt this and get it in the light, you can see these waves. So the first thing that you want to do is flatten the canvas. Um, you do not want to work on it like this because what will happen is these creases will stay there. It looks okay from the front but I can feel the waves are there. Um, and what happens is where these waves are, the drills are at a different angle. The ones on top of the peak are at a different angle from the other drills. And you'll, you'll notice lines appear when you walk past. You'll see these lines at every fold. So you definitely don't want that. So what you want to do is get some heavy books and just put it on a hard surface, lay heavy books on top, leave it for a few days, take the books off, and you'll see that all these creases have disappeared. And that's when you want to start diamond painting. Um, don't be tempted just to start because you can see it's sort of curling up here. Once you've got the drills on, it's more difficult to flatten. So it's definitely a good idea to be patient. Put some heavy books or something similar on top. Leave it for a few days. Take them off. Have a look. See if it's flat. If it is, you're ready to go. Alternative is you may want to put it under your mattress. Some people do that as well. Um, and that flattens the canvas as well. But personally, I use heavy books um, either on the floor or on a table where I can leave it sitting for a few days. And I just make sure it's totally flat. So all you do is leave the books on it, leave it for a few days, take the books off, turn it over, and see if you can still see these waves. If you can, put the books back on it, leave it for a few days more. So the next thing is having a look at the actual print. Um, it is poured glue. We have a clear cover over the top. And if I tilt it in the light, you can see the shininess. That is the glue. That is very tacky, which is exactly what you want. So if we go up close and if I can tilt it in the light and get the reflection, you can see the glue just goes over the edge and that's what you want as well. To make sure that the drills are totally seated on glue. You don't want the glue being short because the drills on the edge might fall off because they don't have enough adhesion. So it looks absolutely fine. But what we'll do now is we can have a closer look 
at the print and just see how clear the symbols are. So we'll have a look at that. Okay, so now we're going to have a close look at the symbols on the canvas. Bear in mind, I still have the clear cover on, so you'll see these like white lines and things. That is just the light reflecting off the clear cover. <clears throat> so as we go down, you can see the symbols. Um, where it's a dark colour, the text, you can see this number four, that is black. Um, the four, the symbol is white against the dark background. You'll see where we have light colours, like the D, the yellow, it has a dark colour. So it makes it easy to see the symbols <clears throat> when the actual symbol or the number or the letter contrasts with the actual uh, colour in the background. So I'm just coming down to the eye of the peacock now. Again, we're, we're very close looking at this, but the idea is to give you an idea just how sharp or how easy it is to read the symbols. Um, I don't see any problems at all. As I said, it's poured glue, so we have no problems with air bubbles or anything like that. Um, most companies now use poured glue for this reason. It's just a lot easier. Uh, the glue is nice and flat. They used to use um, what they called double-sided adhesive, which is basically a large sheet of glue that they put down on top of the diamond painting. And you used to get air bubbles trapped in that, and you had to slice them to let the air out so the drills would sit flat. But because this is poured glue, you don't have to worry about that. So you can see here, um, the number four, as I said, is 310, which is uh, black. So quite a lot of black in the background of this one but it contrasts really well with these bright colours, these reds and yellows, oranges, even the blues. It will make the colours really pop um, which I really like. I, I like this uh, sort of dark areas that make the colours really stand out. So you can see no problems reading the symbols at all, no misprints, double prints, faded prints. Everything looks absolutely fine. You have to remember as well that this is without a light pad. I don't have a light pad on behind it. So we're just seeing the symbols with the normal light. Um, just some lights above the canvas. Um, if the light pad is on, it makes it even clearer. So no problems at all. Can't see any problems reading these symbols. Um, Everything looks absolutely perfect. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would give you a close-up look. Um, but, pleased to say, no problems at all. So, that's it. Peacock from OutdoorTide.com um, As I said, I had a good idea what to expect. And it pretty much uh, was what I expected. We get the basic toolkit with the green tray, the pink pen, a rectangle of pink wax, um, that is it. But nothing really wrong with it. Just as I said, if you're new to diamond painting and you get a kit and you have a tray that has these angled sides, be careful, try not to touch it. You will learn, once you've spilled the drills a few times, you will learn not to touch the side. But um, I always mention it. Um, hopefully it saves someone from learning the hard way. Um, the canvas, semi-folded, semi-rolled, a bit starchy. Um, some books, some heavy books on top. For a few days, we'll flatten that out. No problems. Um, the actual print is fine. Um, as you saw when I did the close-up, no problems reading the symbols. And that was without a light pad. That was just using lights shining down on the canvas. If you have a light pad behind it, the symbols will be even easier to see. So again, no problems at all. Where it's a dark background, the symbol is light. Where it's a light colour, the symbol is dark. So very easy to read. Poured glue, um, no air bubbles, nothing to worry about with that. 
Um, but that is it. Uh, again, it was just I was just browsing. They just said choose something, so I just had a look, saw this image. I've never seen this image before. I thought that is really different. I like the the dark background with the bright colours. Um, definitely appeals to me. Um, so yeah, really really nice uh, image. Round drills. Um, didn't see any problems with them at all. As I said, the bags are reasonably big. So if you don't have, if you again, if you're new, you don't have any kind of storage system, um, you can work from the bags easily. Just snip along the top, use what you need, pour the rest back, fold it over, a little piece of tape, and you're good to go. So yeah, that is it. So as I said, I think this is the 46th company that I've uh, reviewed. Um, I enjoy doing these. I'm always curious when I find new companies that I've never tried before, just to see how things compare, how the canvases compare, the print, the glue, the uh, accessories or the toolkit, um, everything. I'm just, when I find a new company to me, I'm just really interested to see just what do you get from this company. So uh, I'm glad they reached out. Um, so it was something new, um, really nice kit, nothing to complain about at all. Um, the only downside again with the budget companies is the fact that the, the canvas comes that sort of uh, semi-folded, semi-rolled and you get these waves. So the first thing you have to do, you might be desperate to start but I would always suggest you flatten the canvas first and then start. Um, it, will definitely be worth it in the long run. You want the canvas nice and flat, so the drills are all sitting at the same angle. You do not want waves because once you finish it and you put it in the wall, you will see lines um, as you walk past and that is very irritating. So um, that is it. So the other thing is uh, they don't just do diamond paintings, they do cross stitch and they do paint by numbers and I noticed they also do some other little bits and pieces. So if you're interested I'll put a link directly to this one if you like it to Peacock um, you can go straight to it um, and I will also put a link to the website so you can just check it out. There are hundreds of diamond painting designs Obviously diamond painting is the only part that I'm really interested in but as I said they do have other stuff if you're uh, more artistic than me and uh, you enjoy different crafts like cross stitch. I did cross stitch a long time ago um, I think I got lazy I found diamond painting um, a lot less fiddly you don't have to separate threads and thread needles and all that stuff at the back that people don't see. Um, it's just a matter of pick up the drill, place it where it should go and just repeat until you're finished. Um, I really enjoy diamond painting. I find it extremely relaxing. I put on headphones and I listen to music while I diamond paint. I don't use multi-placers or anything like that. I just place singly. Um, it used to be with a pen but now, uh, these days, I use tweezers for round and square. So I place one piece at a time. Um, I just really enjoy it. That's, that's my escape. So that is it. Um, not much else to say. The only thing that I should mention is when it says the size, the actual print size is not the size. Um, I have to write this down. This one is... 40 by 70, 40 across, 70 down. That is the size of the canvas, including the borders. The actual size is 34 by 64. The good news is, if you go to the website and you see a diamond painting that you like, click on it and you'll see all these little uh, thumbnails that you can click on. If you go to the very last one, at least with this one, if you go to the very last one, you will see an image of the canvas. So you can actually get a good idea of what the canvas looks like. And you can zoom in and get a better look at it. But it also shows you the dimensions of the whole canvas and the dimensions of the printed canvas. 
So when this says it is uh, 40 wide, it's actually 34. Again, that could be important when you're trying to fit it in a specific size space. So the printed canvas, the actual diamond painting, is smaller than the size they advertise, but they do have it in the thumbnail. So if you look on it, uh, click on it, sorry, um, and then skim through the thumbnails, go to the end, you will get a preview of the actual canvas, which I really like, rather than the companies that just give you the original artwork picture and they, they don't um, give you the actual, what it really will look like. Um, and the other thing is, this comes in just this size. So you don't have to worry about what size I'm going to get it. Some companies will give you like six different sizes and you think, well, the smallest one is the cheapest, but you usually find that the quality of the actual finished picture isn't as good. You don't have to think about that. These uh, images that they have, it's one size. You don't get to choose. So you can go look at the canvas get an idea in your mind what it's going to look like as a diamond painting and take it from there. That, that's what I did with this. I saw the original artwork, I thought I really like that, found the canvas, zoomed in and thought yeah it still looks good and I went with it and I'm very glad I did. I think this is going to be a really really nice diamond painting. Very bright, um, as I said I do like colours in diamond painting so yeah I'm pleased with this one. So that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, if you would like to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, accessories, anything to do with diamond painting, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube Live. I do random lives. Um, I don't have set days and times. It's just really when I can fit it in. And um, if you do drop in, I uh, can have a bit of a chat about diamond painting pretty much anything. I just enjoy talking to other diamond painters around the world, learning a bit about where they are in the world. Um, I am originally from Scotland, as you can probably tell from the accent. I now live in Copenhagen, capital city of Denmark. It was a bit of a cultural shock moving here. Um, it's very different from living in Scotland. So I'm interested in learning bits and pieces about where people are in the world. Um, I find that sort of thing interesting. So that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, and in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands. <music>